Welcome to Armed Forces Weekly. I am Donna Lyons McClellan, and I'm thrilled to be back at TSPN. As many of you know, I recently moved back to Washington, D.C. to be with my husband, Colonel McClellan, who returned from Afghanistan. As of last Friday, he officially retired after 29 years of service to our country. I want to thank my husband and so many others retiring this year for their dedication and service to our nation. It's important to recognize all who have given to our freedom. We are going to take a quick break, and when we return, I have some awesome stories to tell you about a couple of Marines. Don't go away. We'll be right back. You're watching Amador County's number one news and sports leader. The all is for you. You can't wear it on your chest, but you can feel it in your heart. And I hope it brings you comfort when this world grows. Let it echo through the madness Let the message pull you through This is our medal of honor To you Now back to Armed Forces Weekly with Donna Lyons on TSPN Welcome back. This week I had the honor to meet two Marines Adam Shatarsky and Ross Delafield who created a nonprofit, thewoundedwalk.org, which raises awareness of post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, and the epidemic of veteran suicide, among many other issues veterans face. Veteran suicide is at its highest rate ever. It's estimated that 20... Adam spent four months on a cross-country trek from Camp Pendleton to Washington, D.C., which is approximately 3,000 miles. Ross walked from New York to our nation's capital, ending at the World War II Memorial. Adam was inspired to do the first walk for his best friend, Josh Lopez, a fellow Marine in his platoon who lost part of his leg in Afghanistan. When Adam saw his struggles, it drove him to do something more, to make a difference, and to show others they are not alone. Adam and Ross have said that the undertakings have changed their lives and the support they get along each journey makes it go a lot faster. So if you are in or around their walk locations, they would love for you to join them. I can tell you that I was very impressed upon meeting these great Marines. My son Nick and I drove down I-10 in the middle of the Mojave in search of these iconic walkers. When I spotted them, I pulled over, got out of my car, hugged them both. They took the time to talk to us, inspire us, inspire us to do more. After 10 minutes, I was sweating. I was ready to get back into my car. Right there, that told me how grueling this mission really is. As we drove away, I saw them in my rearview mirror. My heart ached to know just what lies ahead for them. Yet I smiled because I thought, wow, I just met two of the greatest guys on the planet. Oh, and Adam, when you do get done with this walk, I challenge you to wear that denim tuxedo. Adam and Ross want others to experience what they are doing. They want to get walks to start all over the country and make a difference one step at a time. Adam spent four years in the United States Marine Corps with the 2nd Battalion, 5th Marines Weapons Company stationed in Camp Pendleton. In 2011, he served in Japan during the search and recovery mission following the major earthquake and tsunami that devastated the country. At the age of 18, Ross entered the United States Marine Corps and was stationed at Camp Lejeune served in Kosovo in the 24th Marine Expeditionary Unit and in the Kosovo Force, a NATO-led international peacekeeping force. He was honorably discharged in February 2003. These guys have been active duty Marines and they understand the tra transition back home. They don't just talk the talk, they literally walk the walk. I am going to have the honor to work with it, them even closer with the Wounded Walk as our foundation, Hope Lives There, teams up with other foundations with the same mission. Hope Lives There has plans for an inspiring documentary that will be filmed 
in the next year featuring a group of wounded veterans from various wars who will be embarking on an arduous trek along the famous, famous Camino de Santiago in northern Spain. This legendary path stretches hundreds of miles and was recently featured in the 2010 film The Way. It is our hope to create a moving, inspirational, cinematic experience which documents the story of these brave veterans as they complete this physical and psychological journey across a centuries-old pilgrimage that is known for spiritual impact it has upon its travelers. The foundation itself will be in place to help all wounded veterans across the board. Keep watch as the foundation and the working title of the documentary will soon come to life. The documentary is the brainchild of Mike Kaczynski, a dear friend of mine. He was inspired by many of his friends who came back from war with physical and invisible injuries. He wanted to make a difference. All of us involved with Hope Lives There have the deepest gratitude for our veterans and want to be the change so our veterans can get the best possible care. And on Tuesday, September 2nd at 9 a.m. at the World War II Memorial in Washington, D.C., a World War II veteran event co-hosted by the Friends of the National World War II Memorial and the National Park Service will commemorate the 69th anniversary of the Allied Forces victory in the Pacific and the end of World War II. The ceremony will also celebrate the spirit of unity of the American people during this pivotal moment in our nation's history and give recognition to all World War II veterans, especially those who fought in the Pacific Theater during the war, as well as all those who served on the home front. During the event, dozens of World War II veterans will lay wreaths at the Freedom Wall in remembrance of the more than 400,000 Americans who lost their lives during World War II. George Prescott Bush, the grandson of President George H.W. Bush, will give the keynote address. September 2nd marks the 70th anniversary of President Bush's 46th combat mission when he was shot down over the Pacific during World War II. Mr. Bush will pay tribute to his grandfather's service and thank all those who served during World War II. President Bush's grandson served an eight-month tour duty in Afghanistan in support of Operation Enduring Freedom under the Special Operations Command for which he was awarded the Joint Service Commendation Medal for his meritorious service. I want to personally thank the men and women who serve our country and those who have served. Thanks to the mothers, the fathers, and caretakers who raise those individuals to understand love of country and to be selfless. Thank you for teaching them what honor and dignity mean. And to those loved ones who have to miss those who made the ultimate sacrifice, may you have peace. May God richly bless all service members past and present and their families. And remember, freedom isn't free. We're going to take a break, and when we return, we will be talking to Steve and Joe about the Top Cop Challenge here in Amador County, an annual event to benefit wounded and disabled veterans. We'll be right back. You're watching Amador County's number one news and sports leader, TSPN. Oh, it's for you. You can't wear it on your chest, but you can feel it. And I hope it brings you comfort when this world grows dark. Let it echo through the madness. Let the message pull you through. This is our medal of honor to you. Now back to Armed Forces Weekly with Donna Lyons on TSPN. Welcome back. I am with my guests, Joe and Steve from Top Cop Challenge, and I'm thrilled to have them here because they have some great information. Um, this is a pistol competition here in Amador County, and it is on a August 23rd, um, and it's for law enforcement. So it's very interesting, and why don't you guys just start telling me, tell our viewers a little bit about it. Well, what it is, it's a pistol competition. The competition is only open to law enforcement. Uh, but it's open for all of the public to come and watch. So we can go and sit with you guys and mm -hmm. see who wins? Yes, <laughs> right, right. And it is free to the public. Oh, awesome. And we have free refreshments and everything else. Uh, but this year we have shooters coming in from all over Northern California and Nevada. And this is the first year we actually have the U.S. Secret Service being represented in the competition. So oh, wow. A friend of mine is Secret to, Service, uh, yeah. Dispose of us to keep a secret. It should be a good day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. 
don't I have to tell you, or if I tell you, I'll kill you, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so anyway, this pro this started about three years ago. This is our third annual. Okay. And it was just an idea, and Joe had the idea originally and started it, just a way for Amador County to to help out wounded veterans and disabled veterans. So we started it, and it, we slowly grew. We have a tight core core group of of uh, running this committee, mm -hmm. and it's working out quite well. Um, Three years ago, the first year we generated over seventeen thousand dollars. Oh my gosh! So our second year was over twenty-one thousand. Oh my gosh! So you're growing. So we're we're it's a lot of work, but we're making it happen. Amador County is a very giving county. They are. And, I, I and believe they have the highest population of uh, retired vets in the state of California. Right. Yeah. And, and we we understand we're also competing with a whole lot of other events going on in the county that also yeah. are donating. So. Uh, it's a big event. We really enjoy it. Uh, it's just sort of a two-part. Peace officers enjoy target shooting. Yeah. And a little competition. <laughs> yeah. A lot of them are veterans. And, and so we coupled that with a great banquet, which is the other half of our, our event. So tell me about the challenge really quick before we get to the, the banquet. The challenge, what do they have to do? And how, are you, how does that all work? Well, the competition is being held at the True Sportsman's Club in Ione, up on their, what we call the long gun range. It's, okay. It's what's called a move and shoot. Okay. Okay. It's it's not a marksmanship. They will actually be shooting from different p positions, uh, standing, kneeling, uh, different type of targeting. A lot of still targets that are mm -hmm. called poppers, reactive, some paper situational targets. Uh, it, it's going to be a good competition. A little mm -hmm. obstacle course to yeah. get the the heart beating. Oh, there the, you go. <laughs> yeah. And something we're doing this year too that uh, we hadn't done in the past. Uh, we give out three three prizes: first place, right. second place, and third place. Mm -hmm. uh, for the first place individual and first place team, we're going to uh, give a cash uh, prize, cash reward, and we will make a donation to their veterans organization of their choice, located within their county. Oh, that's incredible! I love that. That's that's such a wonderful thing to do. So. Uh, it, we, we hope that will generate you know, a lot more interest in future right. years because they come here, they compete, they help us raise money for our wounded, disabled vets, and then they get to take something home to give to their exactly. organization mm -hmm. in their own, Exactly. Own I love it. Yeah, they really enjoy this event. And uh, actually, I think I remember last year, one of the female officers was really out shooting yes. a lot of the guys. <laughs> <one time. laughs> I love it. Towards the end. And then she was, they were like, okay, we're walking away. This I is love crazy. it. Yeah. That is so incredible. And we have some females competing this year again. How many do you have? Is this like, did you have them in the, fir the first, first competition too, or did it kind of it's, did it's a growing. female yeah, show varies. up in the... It varies a little bit. No females the first year. Right. Okay. Uh, last year there were. Uh, this year we have about the same number. And uh, we basically cut it off around 40 shooters. Uh, and it's first come, first serve, obviously. Yes. Mm -hmm. And after the competition, time allowing, we have fun shoots. You know, uh, the, you know the standard 50-50 type mm -hmm. draw, and uh, it's just really a good time. I mean, last year they were coming out wives, th their kids, and I mean to see a little three-year-old with the. <laughs> I think that's the cool. I like it. Yeah, in camo. It's a family event. You know, and I really think that teaching kids, speaking of children, to, uh, how to use weapons properly, mm -hmm. can save a lot of lives and oh, teach yes. them young. Because I believe everybody should have a gun. I mean, or have the opportunity to own one if you choose so. Right. And um, right. we see a lot of accidents, and so teach them young. Mm -hmm. Go to these events where they can see how this stuff is done. And absolutely. Yeah. Now tell me about the banquet. I'll, I'll let okay. Steve go on that. Oh uh, well, the, All right, Steve. the banquet's <laughs> really the, the fun part for me because uh, uh, everybody gets together. It's at the Jackson Casino, the Grand Ballroom, beautiful setting. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. The meal, the prime rib. Is delicious each time. Um, it's a really good time. Good networking opportunities for everybody. Yeah. Uh, we like to go around and have any veterans stand up and tell them what branch of the service they are in, how long. Oh, I that, like that. Any stories they may have, we you know provide that. It, it's a good good time, and and we also have a lot of prizes uh, donated from so around the nation. Tell us about those prizes to get people interested. Some of those Maybe prizes, they want to. They they can range from anything from a. Uh, What's it with that flashlight with the... Oh, a taser light. A taser light. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and other softer things, too. But, uh, and also uh, a, a smoker from camps, a beautiful smoker I've seen on your ads. And, yeah. and moving on up nationally, we've got some, um, 
sketch artist work provided to us by Which a gentleman. Which we want to show because this Michael is Reagan. amazing. Which tell us his name and tell us all about well, him. Well, first, these are some other ones we received. This is a, a photograph that actor Tim Allen sent us Thank you. Uh, with a letter of authenticity. And it also came with a, a signed movie script, from, well, television script from uh, his show, Last Man Standing. That's amazing. Okay. I love that one. And He's if, such a great guy. If your viewers have ever watched Last Man Standing, uh, he comes out with some pretty good <laughs> He does. This is the second year that Steve Young, former 49er quarterback, has supported yep. a letter of authenticity. And this is a picture of him and Jerry Rice. Uh, right after they won the Super Bowl. So. See, I'm a 49er fan, so oh, yeah. hey, maybe I can get somebody to go out there and bid on that for me. <laughs> and then a Is it raffle or bidding? Or are you having both? We haven't both. really decided Okay. Yet. And this one here, if, if a woman were going to run for president, president, I wish it would be her. I love her. Condoleezza Rice I love has, has supported us the last three years. Mm -hmm. And then... And you guys have some big names attached to this. I mean, yes. as far as supporting you, um, at her, Condoleezza Rice, and... Mm -hmm. And these fine people right here, and I'm yeah. I'm thrilled about this. This these is are awesome. These are exceptional. These are uh, what would you call them? Pencil, pencil sketches. Yeah. yeah. Sketches uh, done by the artist Michael D. Reagan. Yeah. And Michael D. Reagan, uh, his That's claim amazing. to fame was, is he now draws portraits of those who have been killed in war, uh, for the families that have lost a loved one, That's and he does beautiful. it free of charge. And he's done over 3,800 portraits. And God this, bless him. God and this bless is him. one he's done here at Barbara Bush. And signed by Barbara. Signed by Barbara. I love, I'm going to take he, this. He, <laughs> I love her. <laughs> I love and her. And then, you know, Barbara might wear the pants in that family, <laughs> but you can't forget former President George H. Right. And his is signed as well. Mm -hmm. And these were donated by the Bushes. You know, it, this is a non That's what I'm saying. This is like he, the people that are that back you. It's amazing how. Yeah, they, they I mean, honestly. Just yeah. Great. Yeah, great. it's just amazing. Well, like I said, this is nonpartisan, and, and when you think of the charity work that George H. and Bill Clinton, okay, I might not believe with everyone's political views, but they come together on something. Absolutely. And this is what yeah. they've done here. Well, this is just amazing. Yeah, fantastic. So the banquet's a really good time. Uh, everybody's had a really good time that we've. And put it on. What can people expect there besides the raffle and I mean it's there going to be music, dancing. Right. Is it just is who's going to be, well, is we, going to be we speaking? Have, we have a, a well, we have some great special MCs coming out, which we will surprise everybody. <laughs> but nonetheless, <laughs> Sorry, uh, I thought I was going to get it out uh, of you. <laughs> and, uh, we uh, have a gold star table set up for families that have lost uh, sons or right. daughters in service. Which yeah. I love the Gold Star families, the Gold Star moms. Mm -hmm. They're amazing. I've met quite a few of them at the World War II Memorial when I've gone there. They come and support the World War II veterans. Right. Um, and it's so important that we, you know, remember them as well. So I love what you guys are doing. It's just amazing. Well, if you think about it, you know, uh, their sons and daughters made the ultimate sacrifice. Oh, yeah. And a parent's greatest fear is the loss of a child. Oh, yeah. You know, uh, and it breaks my heart, you know. Oh, it does. Uh, and, and we have a special thing that will be happening there that I'm sure uh, will be talked about for months, if not years, afterwards. Well, we're excited to hear what that is. Yeah, and I'm excited for it to be, you know, put out there and everything else. Well, guys, I thank you so much. Okay. We for, for tickets. Anything? For tickets. Thank you. Yes, if for you're tickets. looking for tickets, you can get tickets at the American River Bank. Um, the Amador County Community Foundation on Main Street, Jackson. Okay. Or Sierra Mail and Copy off 88 right here close by awesome. as well. Or we can go to... Website. Which is G as in George, C as in Charles, F as in Frank, guns.com. And just click on the top cop page. Or you can call our number that is very easy to remember. 209-223-0000. That's great. Okay, guys, thank you so much for coming. It was such a pleasure to meet you guys and mm -hmm. an honor, and um, I'm looking forward to see how this goes this year. It's going to be great. All right. Hope to work with you in the future. Thank you. I think we will. We, we are going to talk. Um, we are going to go to a break right now. Thank you for joining us, and I will be back hopefully next month.